Today we are going to learn how to measure our GD and T callouts for the lathe and mill project. First we will start with the GD and T callout for parallelism on the mill project. Parallelism is how parallel two faces are relative to each other. In this photo, we see our measuring tool. It is called a test indicator. The part is placed on a very flat piece of granite called a micro flat table. This test indicator has a resolution of one half thousandth of an inch. This means that each graduation or line is 0 0.0005 inches. Our GD and T callout for parallelism on this part shows three thousandths of an inch. This means the total movement of the needle should not exceed three thousandths of an inch or six graduation lines. This is the total sweep of the needle. This means that the needle may go in both directions, negative or positive, but cannot exceed three thousandths of an inch total. We slide the test indicator over the part and lower the indicator so that the contact point rests completely on the part. It will be easiest to read the gauge if we set the height so that the gauge reads zero before we begin. We make sure that the mill parts datum stays flat against the micro flat table while sweeping the test indicator back and forth over the part. Make sure that the test indicator also stays flat on the table while sweeping. We can see that there is some movement of the needle. This could be due to surface imperfections or a non-parallel part. Either way, in this case, the needle never exceeds three thousandths of an inch, so our part passes. Now we will measure the circularity of our lathe part. Circularity is the measurement of the roundness of a feature on a part. The measurement device that we will be using is called a dial indicator, which should not be confused with the test indicator used for the mill part previously. This dial indicator also has a resolution of one half thousandth of an inch. This means that each graduation is 0 0.0005 inches. Our GD and T callout for the circularity on this part shows three thousandths of an inch. This means that the total movement of the needle should not exceed three thousandths of an inch or six graduation lines. This is the total sweep of the needle. This means that the needle may go in both negative or positive direction, but cannot exceed three thousandths of an inch total. We place our lathe part on a V block under the dial indicator and zero the dial. We rotate the lathe part carefully while placing downward pressure to be sure that the part stays in full contact with the V-block. We can see that there is some quick momentary movement of the needle. This is likely due to some surface imperfections. Our part passes because the needle only moves a total of one thousandth of an inch.